Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm happy you are fine and you are good. Good evening. I'm great. Hello, hello Mario. Good evening. Hello, Mario. Good evening. Um, excellent. Thank you for asking me. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Julian. Hello, Jonathan, Jamilet, Carla, Angela, Hello. Silvia. Welcome Hello, to the class. Teacher. Jaime, good evening. Nelson, good evening. Hey, how evening. was your day today? How was your day today? Was it tired? Was it busy? Was it great? How was your day? It's very busy. It's very busy. Oh, you have a very busy day. And Sylvia said tired. It tired. was a tired day. <laughs> I want to sleep right now. So. Wait, in an hour you can go to sleep. I wonderful. Oh, you are wonderful. <laughs> Today was a wonderful day. Excellent. And tomorrow you are going to be happy, right? Because tomorrow is 30, the last day of the month. So you are going, you are going to be paid. I hope so. Mañana es día de pago, ¿no? To go shopping. <laughs> to me today. Oh, in your case today. Bueno, ya vamos a hacer ahí algún préstamo. Para, <laughs> but I para don't terminar. have money right now. Ah, okay. <laughs> it is in the bank account. That is in the bank Only account. Only I have Bitcoin. Only Bitcoin. Oh, yes, Bitcoins, the new currency in El Salvador, Bitcoins. That is interesting, right? We have to learn to lead with that. Okay, let's start with today's class. Do you have any question about the platform exercises? Preguntas? I don't practice. Uh, preguntas acerca de los ejercicios de la plataforma, alguna duda, algún problema que hayan tenido con algún ejercicio. Richard, eh, fíjese que yo no he tenido lugar por el transporte, por el tiempo de transporte hacia mi lugar de trabajo, no he podido trabajar en la plataforma, pero espero hacerlo ya de, de jueves en adelante. Excelente. Sí, está bien complicado por Ah, excelente, ¿verdad? Cuando tenga tiempo, por favor, recuerde que tiene que avanzar, ¿verdad? Tiene que resolver los ejercicios que están en la plataforma para que vaya acercándose al 80% que necesita para obtener su diploma y que al final del curso no haya ningún inconveniente para que usted obtenga ese certificado. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿Algún otro comentario acerca de la plataforma, de los ejercicios? ¿Ya terminaron la sección 1? ¿Quién ya terminó la sección 1? Yo. Yo ya terminé la sección 1. Yo también. Oh, congratulations, Silvia, Jonathan, María y Jaime. Congratulations. Eh, sección 2. Ya pueden comenzar la sección número 2, ¿verdad? Si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, por favor, escríbala en WhatsApp and we are going to help you. Y con gusto les vamos a ayudar. Okay. Eh, René Merlos, nice job. Ah, okay, for the ones who have already started. Nice job. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Teacher. How are you today? Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, William, welcome to the class. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's start with today, with today class. If you don't have any question, we are going to start. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes. 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 Okay, today we're going to start with this information. Vamos a comenzar con esta información. 
este es el avance esperado, ¿verdad? Este es el avance que tenemos que tener. Eh, week number one. From September 27 to October 1st. Section 1 and 2. En estas fechas tenemos que haber terminado la sección 1 y 2. Idealmente. Week 2. October 4th to October 8th. Section 3 and the midterm. Al final de la próxima semana tenemos que terminar la sección número 3 y tenemos que realizar el examen de medio curso, de midterm exam. Then in the week number 3, en la semana número 3, which is from October 11th to October 15th, we are going to work on section number 4. And in the last week, week number four, which is from October 18th to October 21st, we are going to work section five and we are going to take the final exam. Este es el avance mínimo, el avance esperado que esperamos que ustedes lleven para que al final, antes del 21 de octubre, que es la última clase, usted ya haya finalizado todos los ejercicios que están en la plataforma y las evaluaciones para que no haya ningún problema con la obtención de su diploma o para inscribirse en el siguiente, en el siguiente módulo. Eh, esta fecha es el avance esperado. Por supuesto que usted puede avanzar más ¿verdad? y terminar los ejercicios de la plataforma antes, antes de estas fechas. Do you have any question about this? Bueno, si no, no. Hay preguntas, let's start with this. Class review yesterday we were studying about the simple present. Affirmative sentence, negative sentence, and interrogative sentences. So let's start with these sentences. Yes, no question. We studied this yesterday. So, do you study every day? We have two options to answer this question. You say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. So, do you study every day? No, I don't. Jonathan say, no, I don't. Any other answer? Yes, yes I do. Maria say, yes, I do. Let's yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Do you want to work? Do you want to work? No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, let's do something. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose one of you to answer the next question. Do you try to work, Silvia? No, I don't. Thank you. Do you get up early to go working, Jaime? Do you get up early to go working? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. I do. Okay. Let's see the next. Do you go to bed late, Nelson? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you go to bed late, Julian? No, I don't. Okay. René, do you go to bed late? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, William, do you try to work? No. no, I don't. Elizabeth, do you get up early to go working? Yes, I don't. Yes, I do. Karen, do you want to work? Karen Jimenez, do you want to work? I 
Yes, I do. Okay, let's go to the next question. Do you do your homework? When you have homework, do you do your homework? Let's see, Johnny, do you do your homework? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you like coffee? Do you like coffee, Maria? Maria Sanchez, do you like coffee? Hello? Do you like coffee? Uh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Maria Cruz, do you like coffee? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Mario, do you like coffee? Mario Valdez? Yes, I do. Okay, I love coffee. Yes. Okay. Then, that is, estas preguntas son en segunda persona, ¿verdad? para usted. Do you, do you study every day? Do you want to work? Do you like to work? Do you get up early to go working? Do you go to bed late? Do you do your homework? Do you like coffee? Now in third person. Oh, this is another one. Do you like milk? Do you like milk? Yes, I do. You and I can say yes, I do. Then we have the other question. Yes, no question in third person. Does. In this case, we're going to use the auxiliary does. Does she like cheese? And the other one, does she take the bus to work? And they are, the possible answer are this one. Does she like this? Yes. Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Does she take the bus to work? Yes. She does. Or no, she doesn't. So we studied this yesterday. Does he ride a motorcycle to work? Does he drive to work? De acuerdo al pronombre que, con el que nos estén preguntando, así vamos a resolver. He or she. Let's go with the next thing. Yesterday we studied this information question. What time do you get up? And here's the answer. I get up at five o'clock in the morning. What time do you have lunch? Uh, Hay un micrófono que está haciendo interferencia. Pueden apagar sus micrófonos un momento, please. All of you guys, can you please mute your microphone for a minute? Thanks a lot. So what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at one o'clock in the afternoon. What time do you start working? I start working at eight o'clock in the morning. What time do you go to bed? I go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night. When do you study? I study at 8 o'clock at night. When do you work? When do you work? I work from Monday to Friday. So this type of question require information. What time and when? What time do you get up? Let's choose some when. This is second. Jamilet Torres, what time do you get up? Hello, Jamilet, good evening. What time do you get up? Okay, I need two volunteers. Two volunteers, who wants to participate? I get up. Okay. I get, uh, I get, oh. I get up at five o'clock in the morning thank you that is the answer very good pronunciation thank you i get up at five o'clock in the morning very good job second question what time do you have lunch what time do you have lunch i have lunch at uh, one o'clock in the afternoon 
Thanks a lot. That is the answer. The next one. What time do you start working? ¿A qué horas comienza a trabajar? What time do you start working? I'm working at 8 o'clock in the morning. Thank you. When do you study? Oh, sorry. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? I go, I go to... to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go to... <laughs> Silvia, continue, okay. I go to... I go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night. Thank you. When do you study is the next question. When do you study? I study at eight o'clock at night. Thank you. And the last question, when do you work? I work hey. from Monday to Friday. Thank you. I work from Monday to Friday. Thank Friday. you. Okay, teacher. Okay, now for you. Con su información, let's see. Marvin Romero, what time did you get up? I grab uh, at five o'clock in the morning. Okay. Linda Alas, what time do you get up? Linda Alas. I get up at I get up at four o'clock in the morning. That's too early. Four o'clock in the morning. That's too early. Beatriz Molina, what time do you get up? I get up at five in the morning. At five o'clock in the morning, thank you. At five o'clock in the morning. With your own information, what time do you have lunch, Grady Chavez? What time do you have lunch? I have lunch at... Yo tengo el almuerzo a las 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you. Excellent answer. I have lunch at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you. Uh, what time do you start working, Byron Enrique? Hello, Byron. Are you there? Help me with this. What time do you start working? Okay, then let's see, Carla de Hernandez, what time do you start working? I start working at eight o'clock in the morning. Thank you. What time do you go to bed, Maria Cruz? Cabrera, what time do you go to bed? Uh, I got up twelve o'clock at night. Okay, um, twelve o'clock at night. <laughs> that is too late. That is too late. Yes. Okay. Sometime eleven. Sometime eleven. Sometime twelve at night. Okay. Thank you for your answer. Thank you very much. So let's go with this. Let's continue. Habit. Today we're going to talk about these habits. Teacher, teacher. Yes. I have a question. What is your question? Tell me. Uh, uh, can you back? Can I? Puedes regresar, la, puedes regresar la pantalla anterior. Sure. This one? No. The next. This? Yes. Ajá. Uh, no, la... El, Donde tú dices, when do you work, es donde tú trabajas. Es cuando. 
cuando. When means cuando. Ah, ah cuando, ok. Ok. ¿Dónde Thanks. es? Thanks. Where. Where do you work? Ah, ah ok. Thank you, Nelson, Thanks. for your question. No problem. So, have it. We use the present simple to talk about things we do all the time. Utilizamos sure. el presente simple para los hábitos, ¿verdad? Dígame. Este, uh, question en, en anterior, la cuatro. Yes. Eh, ahí pregunta, ¿qué hora se va para la cama? Yes. La respuesta es, me duermo a las diez. No, no hay forma de poner ahí también como las otras. Me yes. voy a la cama a las diez. Yes, but uh, this is an expression. No significa exactamente irse para la cama, sino que es una expresión que significa me voy a dormir. What time do you go to bed? ¿A qué horas te vas a dormir? So we can answer to with this. I go to bed at 10 o'clock at night. So no hay ningún problema. I go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night. You can use both. Puede utilizar ambos sin ningún problema. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Thank you for your question. Any other question? Bueno, si en el camino aparece alguna pregunta, no duden en interrumpir. Thank you for your question. So, habits. Utilizamos el presente simple para hablar acerca de los hábitos, ¿verdad? cosas que hacemos todo el tiempo. Let's see, for example, I take the bus at seven o'clock in the morning. Every day. Every day I take the bus at seven o'clock in the morning. John brushes his teeth three times every day. John se cepilla los dientes tres veces. Todos los días. I play soccer on Sunday. Todos los domingos I play soccer. I play soccer on Sunday. My sister does exercise on weekends. Todos los fines de semana my sister does exercise. So, habits, hábitos, ¿verdad? Or schedule, eh, hábitos o horarios también. Para eso utilizamos el presente simple. Look at this conversation. It's between Jack and Amy. So, it's, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. ¿Cuáles son los hábitos de estas personas en día domingo? And Jack said, let's go to the park on Sunday. Vamos al parque el domingo. And Amy said, okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Está bien, pero vamos por la mañana o la tarde. 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 La tarde. tarde. ¿Por qué razón? Ok, I sleep late on weekends. Me duermo tarde los fines de semana. What time do you get up on Sunday? A, a, ¿A qué hora se levantan los domingos? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Todavía le dice ya. Oh, eso es temprano. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Los domingos me levanto al medio. Yeah. Al mediodía. Do you eat breakfast then? Desayunas. Sure. sure, I have breakfast every day. Yo desayuno todos los días. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. Reunámonos en este restaurante. ¿A qué horas? A la, a la una. una. A la una. A la una de la tarde. A la una de la tarde. And They serve breakfast all day. Ellos sirven desayunos todo el día. So now the question is, in what time do you get up on weekends? 
What time do you get up on weekends? You with your all information, con su información. What time do you get up on weekends? ¿A qué hora se levanta los fines de semana? Sunday. I'm going to choose someone. So let's see. Let me see. Linda Alas, can you please answer the question? What time do you get up on Sunday? Okay, then a volunteer. Pueden levantar su mano, un voluntario, para responder la pregunta. A time and I o'clock. Okay, Nelson. In the, in the morning. At nine o'clock. Nelson, what time do you get up on weekends? At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. That's too early. Karen, what time do you get up on weekends? Uh, nine o'clock a.m. At nine o'clock a.m. Maria Cruz, what time do you get up on Sunday? I get up at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, Elizabeth, what time do you get up on weekends? At six. At six, six. o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. Y alguien dice, teacher, los domingos yo no me levanto. Solo a comer y me vuelvo a acostar. Nice. <coughs> Excellent. That's something. <coughs> es domingo, ¿verdad? no problem. You have the right to rest. Tiene el derecho de descansar. Nice. So let's continue. Uh, habits, right? Esos son hábitos. Habit. Then we have this scheduled. Habit and scheduled. What is your schedule right? Schedule means horario. ¿Cuál es su horario? Look at these examples. We're going to read these examples. What is your schedule light? Well, I get up at 30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I quit at home. I start working at 8, around 1. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. ¿Cuál es el horario de esta persona? And it says, I get up at 6.30 a.m. And go for a round before breakfast. Hay una, perdón, perdón. Hay una interferencia que casi no deja escuchar. ¿Pueden apagar sus micrófonos? Can you mute your microphone, please? Thanks a lot. Now it sounds much better. So what is your schedule light? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start working at 8. Around when I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Hasta que, tar hasta que tan tarde trabajas? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Let's see another example. What is your schedule light? My classes start at 8 a.m. I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job in the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. So look at the schedule of this person. Este es el horario de esta persona. The classes start at 8 a.m. I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Then take the bus to school. ¿A qué horas finalizan tus clases? They end at noon. Terminan al mediodía. Then I have a job in the library. Después tengo un trabajo en la biblioteca. So when do you study? ¿Cuándo estudias? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. 
Solo puedes estudiar por las tardes, de las 8 hasta la medianoche. So she has busy days. Una sí. pregunta. Dígame. Eh, veo que Gwen a veces lo ocupa como A y también lo ocupa en la otra parte, ya no lo ocupa como A, sino que donde tú estudies. Uh -huh. eh, no, when significa cuando, when do you study? Ah, no, en, en, el, en, el, en el segundo A que dice, when do you class M, dice, a qué horas. Uh, when do your classes end? Es que la traducción no es literal, ¿verdad? Estamos preguntando por tiempo. When do your classes end? ¿Cuándo terminan tus clases? Ah, ellas, sí. ellas terminan a la, al mediodía, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo terminan tus okay, clases? Okay. Eh, okay. Mis clases terminan al mediodía. They end at noon. Gracias, Tichi. Thank you for your question. Any other doubt? Any other question? Elizabeth, what is your question? Rene, what is your question? I can see your hand up. Yeah. Yes. Um, en la contestación de la pregunta que que tenía la duda mi compañero dice day end at noon entonces tengo la duda de el day es pronombre y es válido usarlo cuando nos referimos a a alguna cosa por ejemplo tus tus vacaciones tus tus eh, no sé Así Porque es. me parece curioso que diga de en at noon. Así es, en el caso del pronombre day lo podemos utilizar con cosas, con personas, con animales y con cosas. En este caso hace referencia a las clases. When do your classes end? ¿Cuándo terminan tus clases? They end, ellas. Haciendo referencia a las clases de en at noon. Ellas terminan okay. al mediodía. Sí podemos okay. usarlo, ¿verdad? Con personas, animales o cosas. Day, en el caso de day. Teacher. Yes. Y, y ahí yo puedo decir, como ahí dice, eh, ¿a qué hora terminas tus clases? Yo puedo decir, yo termino mis clases. Sería my classes. My classes end at noon. Ah, ok. Si no quiero utilizar day, entonces tendría que usar clases. My classes. My classes ah, okay. end my, at my, noon. Puedo decir my, my, my classes, my class finish at noon. We can just finish too. But okay. when the question they use end, I'm going to use N here. They end at noon. Oh. Okay. My classes finish at noon. My classes end at noon. And and finish are similar. Thanks. They have similar meanings. So no problem. Any other question? Yes. Uh, um... No es, no es pregunta, pero creo que la contestación va enfocada a no repetir mucho la, eh, lo de clases. Así es, en el caso Porque de inglés. En las, en las eh, conversaciones de inglés casi no se repiten las, <coughs> algunas palabras. Así es, ¿verdad? Por eso están los pronombres personales, porque a ellos les gusta ahorrarse palabras. En este caso, perfectamente, pues, my class is in, pero como se puede sustituir por they, they use the personal pronouns, they. Y así evitan la repetición, bueno, como dice el compañero. Gracias. Thank you. Any other question? If there are no more questions, I need to volunteer to practice the first conversation, which is this. This one, what is your schedule like? Two volunteers, 
Uh, thank you, Maria Cruz and Maria Cruz and Elizabeth. So Maria Cruz, you are going to be eight and Elizabeth, you are going to be B. Thank you, you can start. Uh, solamente antes de comenzar, ¿cuál es la realmente, cómo se tiene que pronunciar? Schedulers? ¿O cómo sería la pronunciación? Schedule. 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 Ok, thank you. Uh, yo una pregunta. Okay, sí. en seis y media. Eh, ¿Puedo decir de un solo eh, seis y media o tengo que abreviar siempre? Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Yes. Yes, read the number. You say six thirty. Six thirty. Hay una forma que es otra forma. Man. You can say six thirty and there is no problem. Or you can say half past six. Um, Esas dos uh, formas se puede decir. Se puede decir. You can say half past six, que significa que ha pasado la mitad de la hora, ¿verdad? media hora. Half past six o six thirty. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your question. So you can start, please. Okay. What is your schedule like? Well, at the jet at six thirty a.m. and and go for a room be ver ver fax okay how do you go to work i work at home I start working working at around Aron, Aram, on a de a glossary. Okay, how how late do you do you work? Sometimes. Elizabeth, sometimes sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Thank you very much. Very good job. Excellent job. Thank you. So, Maria Cruz, do you Teacher. have any question? Dígame, Teacher, dígame. Eh, ¿Podría repetirme lo que le estaba diciendo a la compañera de las 6.30? Porque casi no lo escuché, entonces no sé si podría repetírmelo porque no me quedó como que muy claro cómo se dice o cómo se pronuncia. Ok. Bueno, hay dos maneras de decir esta hora. Una es leer los números así como están, dice 6.30 a.m., y la otra manera es decir, hal, hal past six. Half es la mitad, ¿verdad? Hal past six. Media hora después de las seis. Hal past six. Sería una manera. Y la otra es decir, six, six, six thirty a.m. ¿Es clear? Ok, teacher. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you for your question. Maria Cruz, do you have a question? Maria, do you have a question? Oh, you had problem with your microphones. 
Probably it's the internet connection, but I can hear you very well. Puede escribir en el chat también, María. Si tiene alguna duda, escriba en el chat, please. So let's, let's do this exercise. We are going to match the question with the answer in this exercise. Read the question and look for the answer here. Ok, vamos a escribirlo en el chat, por favor. Por ejemplo, si la respuesta es uno, uno B, uno C, escríbanlo en el chat. Pero apaguemos los micrófonos por un momento, please. Turn off your microphone. Everybody, please. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So, what we are going to do? We are going to match the question with the answer. Read the question here and look for the answer here. In the numbers, you are going to read the question and in the letters, you are going to find the answer. So let's see, number one, what is your schedule like? What is the answer? I have one answer from Rene Merlos in 1D. And yes, you are right, that is the answer. I get out at 4 a.m. I go to work at 5 a.m. I start working at 6 a.m. Thank you. The second one, when do you study? And I have here an answer. And it's Susana. She say 2 a. When do you study? I study at night. Thank you. That is the correct answer. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, Rene. Let's go with number three. How late do you work? ¿Qué tan tarde trabajas? How late do you work? What is the correct answer? Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, Rene. Three E. That is the correct answer. I finish working at six. Thank you, Karen, for your answer. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. Galaxy A12. What is your name? Can you please tell me your name, please? Jamilet, Julian, and let's go with number four. Number four, what do you do after work? What do you do after work? I take the bus and have dinner. So for B. And the last one, number five, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 9 p.m. Those are the answers. Thank you. So remember this question. What is your schedule like? When do you study? How late do you work? What do you do after work? And what time do you go to bed? So I'm going to ask you, son of you. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Teodoro. Thank you for your answer. Thanks a lot. Now with your own information. Let me see, I'm going to choose someone. Johnny, Johnny Guevara, what is your schedule like? De la respuesta es esta o de la mía. Con su información. So you say, I get up, y aquí pone la hora que se levanta. I go to work, wow. la hora que se va a trabajar. Y la hora que empieza a trabajar. I start working at. I, I get up. I get up at 4 a.m. I go to work at 5, 5 a.m. I start working at 6 a.m. Thank you. So I get up at 4 a.m. I go to work at 5.30 a.m. And I start working at 6 30 a.m. 
Thank you. Very good answer. Next one. When do you study? Let me see. Marvin, Marvin Romero. Repeat. Please. The question is, when do you study? When do you study? That is the question. When do you study? I study at night. Thank you. Next question is for, let's see, Susana Guardado. How late, how late do you work? And you answer, I finish working at. A volunteer to answer this question. How late do you work? I finish working at 5 p.m. Thanks a lot. And the next one, what do you do after work? What do you do after work? A volunteer, please, to answer this question. What do you do after work? I take the bus home and have dinner. Thank you. <clears throat> I take the bus home and have dinner. And the last question, what time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? A volunteer, please, to answer this question. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Thanks a lot. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Thank you. Let's go with the next thing here. Okay, you are going to work in small groups and you are going to share with your classmates this five question. What is your schedule like? When do you study? How late do you work? What do you do after work and what time do you go to bed? Then, then let's see. I will give you two minutes for you to finish this. I'm going to give two minutes for you to copy this five question because you're going to practice with your classmate. Let me know when you are ready, please. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize for this situation. So here are the questions. What is your schedule like? When do you study? How late do you work? What do you do after work? And what time do you go to bed? Ready. Thank you, Rene. What about the rest of the class? Are you ready to start sharing with your classmate? Are you ready, guys? Están listos? Yeah, I'm ready. Thank you, Mario. Are you ready? Yes, ready. 
Thank you. What is your schedule like? When do you study? How late do you work? What do you do after work? And what time do you go to bed? We're going to practice this question. So we are going to divide the class. Here we go. Today we are 26. We are going to be. Okay, you are going to have five minutes for share your ideas with your classmate. Is it clear? Tienen alguna pregunta antes de que vayamos a los pequeños grupos de trabajo? No questions? Bueno, here we go then. Les llegó una invitación para moverse a las salas. Den clic en aceptar, please, para moverse a las salas para practicar con sus compañeros. Gladys, Beatriz, Molina. Les llegó la invitación para moverse a los pequeños grupos con sus compañeros. Hello, Beatriz. Hello, Gladys. Do you have any problem? Thank you. hacer responderla con la con la información que nosotros tenemos entonces la primera la primera what is your shed like es cuál es cuál es nuestro horario si no me equivoco sí. Acá está. Hello. And the first question is, what is your schedule like? ¿Cuál es su horario? And you say, I get up at. I get up at. Y escriben ahora, a ver, yo me levanto. Okay, here is, uh, what is your schedule like? And you say, I I get up at la hora que se levanta. I go to work at. I start working at. And I finish working at. Puede decir esa respuesta. Me levanto a las cinco. Me voy a trabajar a las seis. Comienzo a trabajar a las siete. And I am working at. 
y termino ¿verdad? de trabajar a las 6 p.m., 5 p.m. That is the answer. So you don't have to write the answer. Just share, speak with your classmate. No tienen que escribir la respuesta. Just speak. Speak with your classmate. Just say it. Ok. ¿Entendieron? <ríe> Julián. Pues sí, sí. Esto es solo que... Eh, what is your set like? I get up. I get up. For... Hola. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Necesitamos de la número 5 y la 6. The question number 5. Question number 5. Yes, please. <laughs> number 5 is what time do you go to bed? What time do you go what to bed? Do you go to bed? Ah, okay. Bye. What, what time, time do you do you bed? Do you go to bed? What do time you do you go to bed? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. It's this one. Look at this. What, what time what do time. you go to bed? Okay. How late do you work? I stammer. How late? Let's discuss this first question. Uh, what is your schedule okay. light? Entonces, Nelson, pregunta Nelson, entonces voy a contestarlo según mi información. Okay. What is your schedule light? I get up at 5 and go to work at 7 o'clock. Okay. When do you study? I study from Monday to 12. Okay. Uh, how late do you work? I, I finish my, my work at uh, 6 p.m. or 6 o'clock. Okay, what do what do you do after work? Uh, I I drive I drive my car to to the to the house. Oh, perfect. What time do you go to bed? I I sleep to I sleep at eleven uh, p.m. Ok, Gladys le pregunto y usted me contesta. Me ahora al revés. Okay. Vaya pues. Vaya. Microphone. What did you choose like? Or oh, should you like? Ok, I get up at 4 and 45 a.m. and I drive into my work. Uh, Duda en el ejercicio uno diez. Ay, ya se terminó. Oh, adiós. Adiós. Hello, hello. Do you have any question? Tienen alguna pregunta? Escuché que tenían alguna pregunta. What is your question? Estábamos, bueno, teacher, en español se lo voy a decir. Estábamos, Dame. discutimos las preguntas, pero de ahí nos pusimos a hablar sobre la plataforma. Ah, <laughs> que okay. Estamos trabajando con la plataforma. Oh, y yo le, al preguntarles a ella, si tenía, porque tengo duda en dos ejercicios de la 1.10, como formar una oración no me sale. Uh, yes, get me a second. Sección 1.10. Sí.
Sección 1.10. Let me see. Donde dice. Eleven. Ah, no, that is not. Give me a second. I'm going to show you this. Sección 1.10. No puede formular una respuesta. No, una dice, formula la, la oración, que uno tiene que crear la oración. Permítame, dice, porque me salí. Ah, acá está, 1.10. ¿Qué Ajá. número? La penúltima, quiero ver, es, y la última. This one. La de arriba, la que dice this, esa, this, la, sería la cuatro, ¿verdad? Esa, la cuatro, y la última. This class, mm -hmm. esa no puedo, this class. Uh, no, this class start at night clock. Does, y comienza con does, does this no. class start at eight o'clock? Así le escribe. ¿Cómo? Es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Es una pregunta. Ah, de ver. Ahí yo no entendía. Acá tiene el question mark, es una pregunta sí. y acá arriba es la respuesta. This is the answer. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ah, pues la última sería do. Empieza también como pregunta. La última, teacher. Esa ah, sí la sé. Ok. This one. Esa, sí. Ahí es, ahí es. Do you? Ya, ajá. Esta es la respuesta. Yes, we play soccer on Sunday. Entonces comienza con do. Do, ajá. Do yes. your friends, do your friends. Do your friends. Sí, play. Bueno, play los, los veo un momento con sus compañeros. Perfecto. Vamos a finalizar todas las secciones de grupo. Sería Hello, hello, welcome again to the class. Uh, how was your practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Did you finish? ¿Lograron terminar todas las preguntas? Faltó una. Faltó una. Okay. Uh, what time do you go to bed? The last question. ¿A qué hora se va a dormir? What time do you go to bed? And you say, I go to bed at um, 10 o'clock. PM at 11 o'clock PM. Um, yeah. I'm right sleeping. 12 o'clock. Okay, okay. Do you have any question? Do you have any question about today's class? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? All clear. Ah, All clear. Ah, ok. Everything is clear. Everything is solo, clear. Nelson, solo la, la duda que tenía de la respuesta de la última. ¿no? Como, Ajá. como, what time do you go to bed? Y podemos contestar, I go to bed at y la hora. O I sleep. Um, usted puede, puede utilizar ambos, ¿verdad? I go to bed at o I go to sleep at. No problem no. with that. Mm -hmm. eh, Carla de Hernández, what is your question? Question in number three, the word how late. ¿Qué significa la palabra late? Ah, late tarde. Y esa pregunta la podríamos traducir como qué tarde trabajas, ¿verdad? ¿Hasta qué horas trabajas? How late do you work? Ok, thanks. Ok, thank you for your question. 
Bueno, si no hay más preguntas el día de hoy, eh, we're going to stop the class here. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. You are doing a great job. Just uh, remind you, please keep working on the platform exercises. Siga trabajando en los ejercicios de la plataforma, please. We, you have to complete those exercises and those evaluation. Don't forget that, please. No se les olvide, por favor. A algún tiempo que les quede por ahí, ¿verdad? Yo sé que es a little bit difficult, but please, avancemos en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Lo más que podamos todos los días. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow.